Hi, I'm Tyler Young, a Dell Certified Sales Engineer here at XBuy Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a high-level comparison of Dell's PowerEdge R640 and Dell's PowerEdge R650. Let's get started. First, let's begin with the chassis. You'll notice that the R640 is slightly shorter than the R650. However, they both hold the same 1U form factor. Starting with the hard drives, both servers have configurations that are capable of holding up to 10 2.5 inch drives. For those of you who prefer 3.5 inch drives instead of 2.5 inch, don't worry, Dell didn't forget about you. Both of these servers have the chassis options that allow up to 4 3.5 inch drives. Both the R640 and the R650 have the ability to utilize SAS, SATA, or NVMe drives. In addition to the drives up front, both servers also have the capability to add up to two 2.5 inch NVMe drives in the rear. Moving on to the fans, you'll notice that while both sets of fans are hot swappable, as indicated by the orange tabs, the fans in the R650 are slightly larger. Now, this is because the R650 configuration is utilizing Dell's high performance fans. Now, these high performance fans are able to generate a greater airflow as it pulls cold air throughout the chassis from front to back. Next, let's take a look at the processors. You can't see them now as they're covered by these heat sinks, but hold them up side by side and they pretty much look the same. Now, while both the R640 and the R650 are dual socket systems, what's different about them is within the technology itself. The R640 supports Intel second gen Cascade Lake processors with core counts ranging from four to 28 cores. The R650, on the other hand, is able to take advantage of Intel's newest third gen Ice Lake processors that have the ability to scale of up to 40 cores per socket. 40 cores per socket, that's 80 cores total in this dense 1U server. That's unbelievable. In another video, you'll see me deep dive into the technological advances between these two chipsets, but the key takeaway that I want you to get out of this is that this R650 in the entire 15th generation PowerEdge portfolio allows you to dramatically increase the potential workload on a given server. In the same area of the processors, you'll notice the memory modules. While both servers utilize the same DDR4 memory and support RDIMMs, LRDIMMs, and Optane memory, there are a few differences. The R640 can populate up to 24 DIMMs and is limited to speeds of up to 2933 megatransfers per second. The R650 slightly raises the bar by supporting up to 32 DIMMs with speeds of up to 3200 megatransfers per second. Finally, we reach the rear of the server. Here, you'll find the power supplies, management port, and PCIe slots. Taking a look at the power supplies, we see these orange tabs, which, as I mentioned earlier, indicates that the power supplies are hot swappable. Now, you may have noticed that the power supplies are more evenly spread out in the R650. This was no accident. The placement of these power supplies, along with other airflow improvements, like Dell's new T-shaped motherboard design, the high-performance fan placement, etc., all contribute to what Dell refers to as multi-vector cooling 2.0. Now, don't let this fancy term fool you. It's just Dell's way of saying that they are greatly increase the airflow and thermal efficiency of the overall chassis. Another part of Dell's multi-vector cooling 2.0 is advancements in liquid cooling configurations. Dell's proprietary leak sense technology can be intertwined with Dell's iDirect 9 management console to send your alerts and even automatically shut down the server if a coolant leak is detected. How cool is that? Moving on to the expansion slots. It's important to note that even though both of these server models can have up to three PCIe slots on a single chassis, there are some differences. The first notable difference is that the R640 is limited to Gen 3 lanes, while the R650, however, uses the current industry standard of Gen 4 lanes. In both servers, all the PCIe slots are by 16 slots, which are required for high throughput PCIe cards, such as certain network cards and GPUs. And speaking of GPUs, both the R640 and the R650 supports up to three single width GPUs. Other uses for these PCIe slots would be for network cards, host bus adapters, external perks, and other PCIe compatible components. Now, onto my favorite feature of the R650, the Boss S2. Before I explain the Boss S2, I think it's important to give some backstory on what the Boss card is. With 14G servers, you have the option of storing your OS on a pair of M.2 chips within a single PCIe slot referred to by Dell as the BOSS card. BOSS S1 to be more specific. Now picture this, your OS is stored on a BOSS S1, and a RAID 1 of course, and one of your chips fails for whatever reason. Your server still runs as normal because of the redundant chip, so you really don't sweat it. 
you call up your XByte rep to have a new M.2 chip overnighted to you, and now it's time to replace that failed chip. You power off the server, remove the boss card from the PCIe slot, replace the chip, reboot the server. Those of you who have done it, you know, this is a slight inconvenience, especially because you have to power down your server, costing your company money. Now, what if I told you that is no longer the case with the R650? The reason being is that instead of burning PCIe slot for the boss card, there is a specialized slot right here next to the power supply for what is known as the boss S2. And this card is hot swappable. When Dell first made the announcement of this feature, I literally jumped out of my chair. This is something many of my customers and I have been begging and wishing for for years. I'm so excited to finally see this come to life. Okay. So continuing back to the network cards, well, the network daughter card specifically. If you're familiar with PowerEdge servers, you probably already know the network daughter card is Dell's proprietary name given to the network card that is literally bolted on the motherboard. Moving forward with 15 gen servers, Dell is adopting the industry standard term of OCP 3.0. So just keep that in mind. If you're building out an R650 on our online configurator and see the term OCP 3.0, that is what it's referring to. And for my fellow Star Wars fans out there, no, this has nothing to do with our friend C3PO. Oh, I almost forgot. Remember earlier when I mentioned that the rear drive bay now supports NVMe drives? Well, here's where they go. I'm glad I remember this because this segues perfectly into another advancement of the R650, NVMe Hardware RAID. Yes, you heard me correct. Dell now has a RAID controller that supports hardware RAID on NVMe configurations, but please keep in mind, this is only available on 15th gen configurations, not 14th gen. So that sums up my high level comparison of Dell's PowerEdge R640 and Dell's PowerEdge R650. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions or to speak to one of our Dell certified engineers, please see the contact information below. To see more videos like this one, please check out our channel and as always, don't forget to subscribe.